the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Well, because I think we they have the potential for from going from lost to, to being found. Um, so in order to not give those particular individuals any chance at all, Come on he, now. he immediately takes that word. Yeah. You know, because uh, see, when a person is, 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 is lost, uh, you know, and I, I get this from literally just like say you're, when you're in the woods. I mean, you, you've been in the army, you know how it is out there. You can be, you can be uh, 10, 20 feet from a roadside, but if it's, if it's thick Ooh, come on. and you can't, you don't know, and there's not cars and traffic going by, you have no idea. And so Ooh. you, you be very easily going in the wrong direction. However, if, if, if there's any inkling, Ooh. any clue that uh, you can be pointed in the right direction, you may be one of those that says, then that is the direction that I'm going to go. Come on. And you go there, you know, so he's got to take it quickly for some individuals so that they don't have a chance at all. Yeah. Um, now, the thing about that, though, is it almost gives the impression that those individuals don't have a, uh, a chance. You know, when we say the, the devil takes the word quickly. So I think what it might be also is for for us, you know, when we talk about training, right. are you ready for the training? Are you willing? Are you ready to hear the word? Are you willing to hear the word? Um, some individuals, it might be a matter of desperation. If you are in a desperate state of mind, uh, you know, we are quickly, we will quickly grab onto that which will save us. Right. But if we are not desperate, it's just a matter of a slow transition when we got time to think about what it is that we're doing that's a different story so it, it might be those individuals and again i'm 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 just thinking this through here uh, a desperate person may may seek that rescue immediately and 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 latch on to that word right and so the devil's got to do that you know what i mean and yeah. i and i may be wrong i may be wrong but again this is if i had more time to sit down here with you guys maybe uh you know you can see uh, the angle uh, a little bit cl more clearly that I'm trying to put, to put here, but but yet yeah, it's got to be a reason why he does it immediately. That's the, that's the, that's a good point. Why? Right. Well, I'm thinking is that if you ever think about the education, you ever get you know like you as instructor, you have taught people something, and remember mm -hmm. we talked about earlier understanding, but they mm -hmm. still receive the head knowledge, right? They still got. We talk about the. This is, you ever been with the, uh, somebody come back to you later, the instructor says something, you didn't understand it, but somebody else came later, it may help you understand in prep for that test, right? You know how some people can help you, but you did hear it, you just didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. So the devil wants to take, he wants to try to get that off, he don't want that heard, the memory of what was sold, that's just resting on the head knowledge, he's trying to get it before he gets understanding. Because understanding mm -hmm. could come five years, 10 years later on down the road. Mm, good right? point. Right. Matter of fact, I had a, uh, I wanted to get one praise before my, uh, uh, I have a relative uh, that, man, I'm talking about, you're talking about heart and heart. Just, and I know you met many people like that before, but just, 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 angry and, 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 and poor thing right and, mm -hmm. and you gotta pray before to the person is saying i'm i'm reading the word now uh, I'm, I'm, i want a, i want peace Amen. like you said sometimes out of the declaration we want that peace right that that, mm -hmm. that young lady i told you about they called me two years after uh she left the unit the military i don't know if i told you about it some when I was in the military and I was sitting in my seat uh, as a company commander and I got this call and this lady who I used to come by and see every 
Wednesday to go to a Bible study on, on base. Mm -hmm. Doing lunch time. I'll come by and say, hey, how you doing? Talk to her a little bit. And say, yeah, I'm going to Bible study. I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, you're rich, interested, you come on with me. She said, well, I, I, nope, I don't, I don't want to go, but, you know, I, I appreciate you keep asking, but no, nah, I don't want to go. And then she called two years later and mm -hmm. said, Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. I'm saved, I got a child, I'm married, and I just want you to know that what you were saying, I remember. Amen. And I wanted to call you and tell you that I remember, and I appreciate Amen. you planning in my life to have peace and patience with me, and it came up, you know, years later. Right. And I think that's what's happening when you're talking about, you know, friends, relatives, we just plan. Mm -hmm. Because the devil don't want that, they don't even want that head knowledge mm -hmm. in their mind, right? They don't want it, because right. that's why he's trying to hide them. But with God, I think, without what Christ was doing, even with those people, this, you know, in that parable, this parable, he was talking to people that it's didn't so understand. Much, it's not so much so of head knowledge as it is conditioning. Condition of the heart. You see, you see, you can get all the head knowledge you want. I, I know people who have read the Bible through more than we'll ever read. Still lost. But mm -hmm. God is the one. God is the one at work in our lives, conditioning us, working through life circumstances and situations to affect us, to impact us, to, to, to draw us, the scripture says. Come on. And unless he does that, there is never going to be any conception of the word. There's never going to be any faith. So that's why we can't take any credit. You see, it's, Philippians say it is God that worketh in us, that worketh in you the will and to do with your pleasure. So God is trying to condition your heart and try to bring you to a place so that so that you can understand what is being preached. Right. But what about the, I think we're talking about, the question we're saying is though, is that the, uh, why devil come immediately to take the word that was planted by into the hearts of unbelievers too? It's the fact when they, it's, it's, he wants to keep, he don't make them remember those, recall those words either, right? Or you think that they, they just dismiss it all together? Well, the scribes and Pharisees kept it. Right. Right. The scribes and Pharisees had a head full of information. Exactly. Right. Could, quote you, could quote verses to Jesus. I Didn't know. help them none. <laughs> I know. Right. Right. That, that conditioning that God has to do, it, when that ain't there, you can know Moses from front to back. You can know every jot and every tittle. But unless the Spirit of God is allowed in to do that conditioning and tear up your life and to get you lost. See, you you got you one of the things that God is wanting you to do is the humility aspect of this thing is you got to acknowledge you're blind. Woo! Mm -hmm. You know <laughs> you know that the, every blind man that met Jesus, they asked him, "What do you need?" They said, "Lord, that I might receive my sight." <laughs> <laughs> they knew they were blind. Mm -hmm. They weren't running around and pretending that they could see. They were humble enough to recognize I'm blind. I know I'm blind, but Jesus can give me sight. Come on now. <laughs> see, if you if you if you can't be brought to a place of humility, a place of brokenness, a place of contrition, a place where you where you are uh, see, cause you're exalted. Woo. See, everybody who is lost is exalted. Wow. Yeah. That's why humility is so important to God. That's why he said they that of a, 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 a contrite spirit will not be despised. Hmm. The moment you, the moment you realize you high and you lifted yourself up there and you're in the wrong place and you begin to descend and come to say before God, that's when God becomes, that's when you look good to God. Yes, sir. Come on. <laughs> God said, he looking good now. <laughs> now I got to look at you. Jackson. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> you know, you're looking so important. Right. And, and I think that's what, I think that's what you're talking about when people got anger issues and everything else is because they have offended about something that is going against their position. Mm. Ain't that something? All right, bro. Yeah. Yeah.
I gotta go. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna have to make some time to check it check this out on the on the YouTube. All right. All right. All right. God, God bless you guys. God bless. Brother Addison, how you doing? Welcome back. Thank you. Got back safely and everything. Uh, what we had here, uh, give you a chance now. Uh, we had asked Brother Jackson, these are the, uh, did you get the text where Bishop sent the questions in? It was on text. It was a text. So I, I'll show it to you. And then you can, we can, we can move from that point. But you have been reading uh, the parable, Mark chapter uh, four. Anyway, right? I mean, you read it. Yeah. Right. So here, look at the questions here. I, I'm showing on the screen for you. Uh, and, and then you have a chance to, if you want to, uh, chime in on it. It's, 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 it's really four questions. Uh, but it's just what the text was written. It said, before we move on to something else, I have a few questions about the parable. And the first one is, what is that peculiar heart condition ascribed to the good soul? And then try to explain that. And I'll leave it up. Uh, matter of fact, I'll leave the screen up as we go, as you get a chance to check it out. And here's the number two is what is the discipleship significance? One second, this is Brother Johnson, Elder Johnson. Hey, Elder Johnson. You up? You trying to come up? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. You can on our link to the uh, video. I send. I let, one second. Uh, one second. Let me let me first finish with brother brother Addison. Then I'm gonna let him talk, and then I can I'll send the link on the phone. Okay. I sent I sent it to you on email though. Yeah, last night I sent it to your calendar invite. Okay, bye bye. Uh, so the other one was what? What? Uh, what's this? Well, here's one. What is the discipleship significance of the various soil types? Four is what kind of soil are you? In the rest of us, and can we progress to good soil? And then, if so, how? uh where does the good soil come from so those are questions so you got you if you if you got the uh, scriptures in front of you i can pull them up you can try to answer these questions i leave the questions up there i, I didn't try to answer these okay so i mean do you have a thought now that's i think this um, is so the first one the first question what is the peculiar heart condition ascribed to the good soil what what about the good soil that's the second yeah the first one is just a statement of this this text, number two. Okay. What is the peculiar heart condition ascribed to the good soil? Yes, sir. I, um, well, it says right there in Mark. Um, says they hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit so they they receive the word you know a lot of people um, they, they they have God's word but they don't they don't receive the power or authority that's behind it. They operate in and of themselves, mm -hmm. you know. So they're 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 trying to they're trying to manifest the power of God through works. Okay. Um. That's that's a believer then, right? Yeah, and I don't think that's a. a I think that those they they just hear, uh -huh. they hear that, and the spirit 
does not give them a revelation so that they have a, a an understanding of of God's interpretation. Uh -huh. So that is that 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 that, that uh that heart condition is I, th I think it's it, it has something to do with the the, the love of God okay. to to the point to where you desire a relationship uh -huh. based on understanding you know uh, we have I think it's the difference between associates and and friends okay. and loved ones and family. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, you can have an associate, somebody that you you associate with. You don't really know much about them personally. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so I, I think that heart condition gets to the point to where you have a a, a willingness to have a personal relationship with God to where there is there is a give and a take so to so to say there is a a a need to know more hmm. and I think that that ground there is the the good ground because there are people who who are who are stony ground who are so you know where the word is sown among thorns and, and choked they're just they I think they 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 have a relationship but it is it is nothing that's cultivated mm. beyond an association with yeah. you know what I'm saying right. so they're associated with but they're not they're not a, a, a they're not relying on the on the, the source yeah you know they're yeah. they're relying on on information but they're not relying on the source. Come on now. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and I think that that is the the, the difference right. between good ground. I I, <laughs> I I was listening to the bishop. He was talking about you know the Pharisees. They they knew <laughs> they knew the scriptures forward and back. You yes, know. I mean, look at look at Paul. Who Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Paul was if anybody should have had a relationship with God. It should have been Paul. He's a Pharisee, he's a Pharisee, yes, sir. Thank you. So, I mean, just having knowledge of the word is is not necessarily the word being sown on good ground. Come on, man. There is a deeper understanding in, in Paul's experience with Christ was everything. Come on now, come on. He said it was everything. <laughs> he said everything prior to that, he counted it as dumb. It's dumb, right, right. In other words, it was, uh, hey look, I guess the better word is it was unfruitful. <laughs> yes. It was, there, there was no spirit backing it. Come on. <laughs> there was, there, the, 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 the relationship was based on his effort. Right, right. His knowledge, man's authority, man's power. Right. Man's will, I, I think man's right. understanding. Yeah. That, that, that's all he had. Right. Which, which really, really makes it so clear that just to know this word is is not it's not the goal mm -hmm. right 
It's the relationship. So, so that good ground has, is a relationship. You you can have an associate and not <laughs> and not put your trust uh -huh. in that person. Yes. <laughs> you don't. There's a good chance that person is not going to show up when you need them. Come on now. But if you have a re relationship to where it is, you count that person as a friend, uh -huh. as a family member. Right. Then you know that you can call on that person. Uh -huh. You know that person will take the time out to find out what you really need. Come on. That person will take the time out to tell you <laughs> stuff you don't want to know. Right, right. You don't want to hear. About. So that relationship is everything to where you 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 hear the mm -hmm. spirit. I mean, he who has an ear to yeah. hear. <laughs> Let them hear. Amen. Amen. Um, that's just my 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 point on on that, and, and that's 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 personal testimony. Yes, sir. You know, I, I've been in the church my whole entire life, and a lot of that, I didn't want to be there. Right. <laughs> I was made to be there as a child, right. but but glory to God, I was made to be there. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It 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 established some things. Okay. Okay. There 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 were some things that was dormant there. You know, it 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 it, it could have been a whole lot of stuff that was sown on stony ground by the you know by the wayside. Yeah. But it was it was underneath some rocks. <laughs> To where to where the file couldn't get a hold of it, but it was there, and we know all the source and the power in a in a in a sea, right? Is always there, right? It always has potential to 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 produce what it is uh, designed to produce. Okay. Since okay. the foundation of the world, so. Uh, That that would be my answer. It's it's it's. I think it is a relationship. So that soil, the cure, one of the cure aspect of that soil is it has relationship. Yeah, a personal relationship. Right. In other words, you remember that one scripture where Jesus said, "I I never knew you." Right. Those are oh. you see what I'm saying? I, Ooh, I that, that. That's some heavy word. I mean, you can gloss over that, but man, that's that's heavy to me. That that right there, man. Yeah. I, that breaks I, that breaks my heart just just thinking on it. You know? Right, right. And I and I think that that was the issue is that the, uh, as 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 we move into the gospel, is that we do need to understand there's a relationship. There's a relationship. Now, with that in mind, if this was approach that we approach it Thursday. Uh, even though that was the first question, really, we we wrote we went down for the beginning of the of the parable. You know when Jesus started talking, mm -hmm. right? and, and check this out. I, I, hey, brother Bob, Brad, Bobby Bell, how you doing? You ain't got to answer. You, you good? The uh, check this out. Check this out. <laughs> uh, when we went into this parable, uh, let me see where it's at. We, we started off with, uh, you know, uh, verse one through two is him talk, sitting by the sitting by the seaside, right, and, and talking, right. And and uh, he said he's gonna talk his doctrine, you know. And matter of fact, most people just wanted to make sure that other will stay his elder Johnson. You know, when we say we're talking about the kingdom, right? Your C your CIT indicated the kingdom. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. So we want to make sure people understand because verse two is saying he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine 
people need to understand that his doctrine was talking about the kingdom of God, right? Or the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Right. And the scripture we refer to is Matthew 4, 17. At that time, Jesus began, and he began his ministry, right? <laughs> to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that doesn't make sure we understand why we got the word kingdom from. That's, that, that's his doctrine. And as we read God's gospel, understand that the doctrine Jesus preached to repent was what? Change your way of thinking because the kingdom of heaven is where? At hand. So he wants us to focus on God's kingdom. And we know in Matthew 6, 33, but seek you first what? The kingdom of God and what? His righteousness and all these things should be added to you. So, so just keep in mind as we're talking about the parable, setting the stage of what was going on. Now, check this out. I thought it was interesting uh, for you, as all of us too, when we talked Thursday in Mark 4, 3, right? The beginning of the parable. It says, and, and I look, this is how I broke it down and see, and see what you thought about it and from your perspective as you read it. It's like Mark 3 said, Hawking, behold, there went out a sower to sow. Right? That's, that's the first part of the parable, right? And, and so he said, when I got that, it says, Hawking means to me is what? Listen with understanding and think. Or here, in this case, I think I should, should have put that. I left the word out. Think with your spiritual mind and your spiritual ear, your inner man, by faith. Now that's what I was getting at, and I want to see what you thought about as as you read it. Uh, uh, Romans one seventeen says, "For there is the righteous God revealed from faith to faith, as in just shall live what by faith, right? And that's faith in God." So I, I reread, I rewrote that that uh, verse for me as I read it. And then I wanted to see how you read it. Look what I said. So this is Mark 4 3, is what I'm reading. Mm -hmm. then the, the bottom one, this is what I'm reading. This is the reading it with understanding or re <laughs> rewriting of it. Okay. It says, Hearken. Hearken means behold. <sighs> there went out of God's kingdom. So that's his doctrine. God's only begotten son to sow God's word about his kingdom. Jesus was sent to sow faith in God, faith in God into the heart, soul of man. And we know in Romans 10 and 17, so his faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about when we we or anybody receive the gospel, it's by it's by what? Here. Yeah, here and here brings what? Faith. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's all about faith in God. That's what he's teaching. The kingdom is having faith in God. So when you read that Mark, that's four three, what do you, from, from your perspective, what what do you get from that? From you, do you, you you know any difference? That is at the top, my four. So when you read, come and and here, Bishop, when I was reading this, I was looking at it from like you said, is that the people hearing it? You know, you we all know that they didn't understand, and we know when we go out and preach the gospel, sometimes uh, people don't understand. So so. With that perspective, what do you see Mark 4, 3 saying to you? Well, it, uh, parking, I'm thinking is 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 saying, listen. Listen, uh-huh. Grab a hold of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The spirit of God is moving 